Hello YouTube SFRTA here. I just uh, wanted to give you an update. Uh, I know I haven't done a video in a long time. So I thought I'd do one. Um, I've been a little busy. I um, wanted to show you. I've actually started putting people in my plated Amfleets. Um, that car's not quite finished yet. Uh, let me show you what I've been, uh, this is one of the cars I actually literally just finished putting people in. Get my camera to focus here. I think maybe if I, as you can see, there's actually people inside this car. And it's lighted, uh, which is one of the reasons why I put people in, is because the cars are lighted, there's an interior. And it's just, it really live, it, it brings the car to life. Um, so that's why I decided to do it. Um, my tri-rails have an interior, but no lighting. Um, hopefully someday I can remedi remedy that and actually put some lighting in the Bombardier cars from tri-rail. I'm gonna get these Amtrak cars done and maybe like I said maybe someday I'll get some people in the tri rail cars um, so that's what's going on uh, right now I've actually started uh, prepping for Amtrak project 2015 uh, this time I won't be going in it alone because as you guys know, we started Team Amtrak. That's another thing about Team Amtrak. Um, we really, my Silver Meteor, yes, you know, I bought and paid for it. And the cars are mine. Uh, but really, I don't really consider the Silver Meteor just my train. The Silver Meteor the model of it, the HR scale model, my train, I consider that Team Amtrak South Florida Division's train. It's not just mine. Um, me and all the other guys at the South Florida Division, um, South Florida Rail Fanner and Seaboard and all those guys, in my division of Team Amtrak are going to be working on this train um, during the fair next year and uh, um, we're going to be working together as a team um, that's why we started that's how I came up that's how we came up with the name uh, Putting the people in, I'll show you. Basically, what I did, I used this glue. Though you should be using Walther's putty, so you can actually remove the people. You can't really remove them if you use that glue because they're you're not going to get them out. So I use that. If I can find it. It's a very small screwdriver. Uh, oh, here it is. I use this little screwdriver to place and put into place the uh, people. This little small screwdriver. And believe it or not, needle nose pliers because I needed to move the arms on some of the people so they would fit in the car. So when I put the shell in, 
it wouldn't uh, crush or uh, move out of place the people inside so I, I moved the arms so they would fit inside the car and the shell would uh, just slide right back on as smoothly as possible um, you know as it's it's still hard to get the shells back on in fact with this car uh, this part actually came off I had to put it back in I glued it back in it ha this has the metal tabs on it so I had to move put the metal tabs under the interior here the plastic part which was a little tricky but I figured it out so and I glued it back into place so it's it's in place um, I'm putting one guy here um, so basically I was seeing there's like people waiting in line to get snacks and there's a guy and there's gonna be a guy there and I actually on this car I actually put in I put in a conductor that is standing up can't really see him in there but he's in there oh. yeah there yeah he's standing up you just can't really see him but he's there and it, he's glued into place so I hope you enjoy that video guys um there's some uh, stuff to come. I'm doing some more work on the cars. Um, this is probably going to take me definitely um, past July. I should be done probably early August with what I need to do. But it's going to take me a while because I'm working on eight cars. Um, so yeah. Um, I do have some exciting news, or so potentially some exciting news to tell you guys. I can't really tell you yet, um, but I will tell you in a later video. Um, so, yeah, take care for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is SFRTA, out. Okay, guys, um... I lied, I'm not ending the video there. Um, I'm going to put some couplers in and I'm going to shim it. And my uh, bro uh, Amtrak fanatic wanted me to show you I wanted me to uh, uh, make a video how to shim um, a coupler um, this is what I use to shim it this is actually a coupler cover that um, goes on top of here and I'm going to show you how I make it up I'm actually going to get it tripod be back in a minute alright guys that's it for TA I'm back and I have a tripod I'm screwing it in. The, uh, 
attachment for the tripod into the camera. There we go. Okay. Alright. So. You have these beautiful draft boxes and the cover. So what I do is I take a cover out. So I clip like that. And I clipped a little bit of this of one of the side. So I go back on the other side and I go because there's like a little thing that extends out and you don't want that. You want it to be narrowed a little bit so it'll fit into the uh, coupler pocket on this car and it too has a draft box on the Walthers who could yeah they're draft boxes they're just bigger draft boxes and the uh, the um, the uh, The design of how the screws go in to hold it down are different uh, than, you know, a freight car. A freight, yeah, a freight car. Um, because freight cars, they typically only have one screw holding the draft box in place and the coupler. This has two. Um, and then I don't have the screws back in that hold the car in place I gotta put them back so I just need to put those back in and screw them in um, as I showed you in an earlier version early earlier video how to open the car up you take a small screwdriver like this a small screwdriver like that and you go in very carefully just want to do a little refresher go in out scratching the car see how I did that I very carefully just went in And you can actually use a finger to, you know, spread it a little bit. And you just take the screwdriver and you wedge it. And you pop it out, prop the, the shell up like that. And you, you take the bottom part of the car out and, and that's how you open the car. Um... It's very hard to do because there is a little plastic thing. It's like a separator um, from the, the cabin part of the car to the door and then to the diaphragm. Um, there's, there's, it's like it's gray and it's. I guess it's like a separator, but it's, you have to go through there in a real am fleet to get to the cabin part of the coach car, and they actually simulate that in this model, and it's an exact fit in the car, I mean, it it goes right up to the shell and it, it just holds it in place 
because it's literally right up against the the shell here and it's very it makes it for it makes it very difficult to get the car off it is hard to get off it's possible I mean you can get the car apart it's just very hard to do I know I make this stuff look easy but it, it you can ask Amtrak Fanatic it's not easy open these cars up um, I have a lot of problems with it and um, again if you have any questions about how to get the car open anything regarding these Amfleets uh, please uh, feel free to uh, drop me uh, a question in my uh, YouTube channel. I'm more than happy to help. Um, this is uh, this video. I think I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna post this on Team Amtrak. Um, so basically, that's our coupler shim, and I'm gonna show you how. Also. Uh, one thing when you are taking out screws, I use foam cradle as you know. Um, um, Amtrak fanatic, I actually sent him a foam cradle a while ago and um, he uses it all the time now because um, I kind of taught him that. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I always put my screws in that little slot there. It's easy to keep track of them so I don't lose them. I can also put it under the car. That works too, but I like to put it in the slot. Okay, so let me do one thing. I actually... I don't know where the screw is that I took out. And for it here. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I had to pause the video. I don't want to make it long and boring, so I paused it. Well, I stopped recording. Because I dropped a screw on the floor. I found it. Um, it's this screw, and um, it's the screw that I need to um, put in the couplers. Um, it's a coupler screw, so I needed to find it, obviously, or I would not be able to put the coupler in. So, I'm just going to show you, so basically, you know, I take the screws out, remove, And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take the small screwdriver I showed you earlier. And I'm going to take the I'm going to take the uh, self-centering mechanism out because I don't need it anymore because I'm going to show you why. I like the couplers. I like to use 
I like to use the number 146 whisker couplers. I also use the shorter versions as well. Those are the number, I believe they're the 156, I'm not sure. But they're, this is long shank, and I also use the shorter shank. Um, in this case, with these particular cars, um, you run into problems with the uh, diaphragms binding. There's two ways you can correct this. You can put in longer couplers or you can take the coupler spring out which I don't advise on these cars because they're very tricky to get to and you are just going to screw up the car. So this solution is much simpler. Yes, it's going to cost you some more money, but in the long run you're saving money because you don't have to replace slash have to send a car out for repair because you tried to remove the spring out of the diaphragm which I don't recommend doing just get longer couplers um, and these are so beautiful these cars I don't want to do anything to damage them so I'm j I myself am just going to put in the longer couplers because it's a lot easier than the um, <laughs> than the uh, than uh, removing the spring because um, you really have to get in there and remove it, it. It's really a pain in the neck, and it's not worth it. I, for one, would just say get get a longer coupler put in, and I I am telling you it will solve all your problems. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I found it. Hooray! So I'm gonna put the shim in, and then I have to cut this video quick because my battery is dying on the camera. I'm not only going to show you how to do one coupler, I'm not going to do both because basically you have to do, yeah, you pretty much have to do the same thing on this side. You got to remove this, the, the screws and everything and then put in the shim and then you're done. So I'm only going to do one coupler with you guys. Okay. So. There's the coupler shim. A neat trick I found out with the couplers, with the shim, you can actually glue. My camera focusing here. Oops. Okay. You can actually glue the shim to the top of the top of the uh, coupler box cover yeah you can actually glue it to the top of this so I'm gonna show you the way I do it on the coupler You put the cover like that. So what I'm going to do Oops. There we go. Okay, I'm going to glue the shim on this way. I'm going to have it 
in the middle of the coupler box cover in the middle of it like that and then I'm going to glue it into place so I put a bead of glue on uh, using, using I use model master liquid cement for plastic models and I'm going to show you why because this has this neat it has this neat applicator that I absolutely love very making the application of the glue very controlled and very easy to apply some people still use the glue that comes in the bottles with the brush I have used that glue but I don't like it I prefer this type type of glue and it does the same job as that glue but I prefer using the testers brand that's the company that makes it is testers okay the shim is in place I could let it dry but I don't have to it's gonna dry anyway so obviously we put the cap back on the glue So, oh, there's a coupler. So, so it doesn't dry up and make it impossible of putting, getting glue out of the applicator. Obviously, you put it, the cover back on. That would help. Um, so, yeah, I just put the coupler on and coupler go. Just fell out. Hold on YouTube. But I have plenty. I'll, okay, I'll look for, I, it, it's, ooh, that's missing a spring. Uh, do I have time to, yeah, I guess I could. Alright. Guys, I'm also going to show you how to put a coupler spring in. Might as well. It's very hard to do, but it's possible. Believe it or not. What I mean by a spring, I'm talking about the itty bitty metal thing right there yes I am putting one in in a coupler instead of just buying a new coupler I'm actually going to put the spring in it's actually it's possible to do but it's very tricky to do so I don't know if you guys can see this. Alright. Alright, there. You guys have a better view of what I'm doing. Oops. And just like that, the spring disappears into thin air and you can't find it anymore. Unless it's down there. No. Yeah, that, that spring went bye bye. But I got a lot of them. I actually have a Ziploc zip bag full of them.
Okay. And yeah, I just carefully got went in, pushed the spring back ever so slightly, and then pushed down in, and then voila, you have a working coupler. All right, so I'm gonna get this coupler in right now, and then I'm gonna be signing off for the night because. Doing this pretty late. I'm not going to tell you what time it is. So, all right, I got my thing back on, so I just put the screws in, righty tighty to tighten the screws in, and obviously a lefty loosey to loosen it, and then you're done. Finished. Actually, one thing. You have to bend the trip up a little bit so it doesn't uh, hit the rail or any obstruction on the track. Um, I'll actually show you that part right quick after I put the screws in. They do have a tool from Micromark to bend the trip, but I just use pliers because they work the same. They do the same thing. And that's all you have to do. You just got to bend the trip and that's it. You're done. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, this is probably the shortest to-do video I've ever made. You all can thank me for that. Dang, SFRDA finally did not make a boring video. Alright, and I want to just say that. Talk about that. I try not to make boring videos. I'm just trying to show my hobby and show to you guys on YouTube what I love to do. And model railroading is something I love to do. I don't mean the videos to be boring. Um, you know, if they are boring and they're too long, yes, please let me know. But you guys don't need to be jerks about it. And I actually did get some comments from people that were actually quite rude. And I just deleted the comments and I replied. If you're going to leave nasty comments like that on my YouTube channel, I'm just going to delete them. I'm not going to block you like uh, Amtrak Fanatic would. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Um, I'm not going to do that, but... I'm just going to delete the comments. If it, if it's a constant problem, yes, I'm eventually probably going to block you. But I try my best to make the videos. Um, yes, I do appreciate critiques and, you know, people saying, hey, you know, it's too long. You need to make your videos a little shorter or something like that. That's fine. But if you get rude about it, like uh, I think somebody said... Oh, there's something called video editing software. With a few clicks, you can edit a video. Oh, it's so amazing. You know, being a smart aleck. And I just, I just up and went and deleted the video, the comment. I was about ready to flag it, but I didn't. But I'm just warning you guys now, if if it is a constant problem yes eventually you know I might block you from the channel but like I said please don't leave nasty comments like that and I know most of you are pretty good about it I don't like people putting cuss words or inappropriate language on my YouTube channel because I have no idea really who visits my YouTube channel 
And what I mean by that is, you know, I could have somebody as young as eight years old, you know, visiting my YouTube channel for all I know. Because I, I really have really haven't a clue how old some of these people really are you know visiting channels on YouTube so I try to keep the videos and I try to keep the comments on my channel very clean so you know it's it's good for everybody who visits the YouTube channel please don't leave rude or obscene stuff on my YouTube channel I'm I'm just going to delete it and report it. If it if I if it's a constant problem with you know if like if one of you guys are doing it constantly, yeah, you're going to get blocked from the YouTube channel. So please don't do that. Do that, guys. But like I said, I you know, I know a lot of you are very good about it and I do thank you. I want to also acknowledge the fact that I am now up to 114 subscribers I couldn't do it I couldn't have done it without you guys and I do thank you for guys sticking around with the SFRTA channel and subscribing um, I also want to thank you guys for subscribing to my friend Amtrak Fanatic and our YouTube channel Team Amtrak please um, visit that as well um, we, uh, want more subscribers, um, and also, you know, Team Amtrak, um, if you want to join, uh, you got to have Skype to join Team Amtrak. Um, it is a requirement now, you must have Skype in order to join, no if, and, or buts. You have to have Skype. Um, so... Um, for all you guys in the South Florida Division, Team Amtrak, who don't have Skype, you need to get it and add uh, Amtrak Fanatic to your con contact list. I'm not going to post, I'm not going to tell you his Skype info. Um, if you guys private chat me and ask me for his uh, Skype info, I'll more than happy to give it to you. I just don't want to give it out in public because a lot of people have been uh, giving us random contact requests and we, I don't want, yeah, I, I don't want to put them in that position. So, private chat me a request and I'll give you his Skype info. More than happy to do that. Um, the reason why I'm not giving my Skype info is because Amtrak Fanatic is the head. He is in charge of Team Amtrak. He's in charge of membership. He's the guy you need to be talking to and be sending Skype contact requests to him in order to be a member. We don't charge anything to be a member of Team Amtrak. It's completely free. We're just an online group for people who love Amtrak to come and join. Um, so, if you want to join, uh, let us know. And more than happy to add you in. Okay, my and before I go guys, I want to show you this right quick. My battery is going to die, so thanks for watching. SFRTA out.